A big part of my upbringing had to be skateboarding. I got my first skateboard when I was like in fourth grade and I absolutely love skateboarding. I skateboarded from fourth grade up until early adulthood. I still own a skateboard. I still push it from time to time. I still like the skate culture and things like that, but definitely skateboarding was a huge part of my upbringing and something I have very, very fond memories of aside from all the injuries. But another big part of my upbringing obviously was video games. So combining skateboarding and video games was a big deal to me. And of course, things really got to jump off with the Tony Hawk series. The Tony Hawk series was pretty much the inclusion of video game skateboarding that really made people pay attention to skateboarding. It sort of broke into the mainstream when it came into the world of video games, and the Tony Hawk series ended up becoming this huge thing. Everyone wanted to play the Tony Hawk games. People were buying skateboards based on the Tony Hawk games because they liked playing the game so much. It introduced you to new music, new bands that you never heard of. The first time I ever heard of AFI and In Flames was in a Tony Hawk game. So the Tony Hawk games were super influential in my upbringing. Now, of course, as time Time went on the Tony Hawk games got some competition there was a thrasher skate and destroy game on the ps1 which was arguably a better realistic skateboarding game but it never really got the mainstream push that the Tony Hawk games did once skate came along though it really sort of shifted things up because skate could be played as a realistic game or it could be played as an arcade game and people really enjoyed the skate series Tony Hawk sort of fell off the deep end with all these subsequent releases of games the last Tony Hawk game I really enjoyed and had a lot of fun with was probably Tony Hawk project 8 there of course was Tony Tony Hawk Ride, which tried to change how you played skateboarding games, and he actually had like a little skateboard accessory, but you could see that the series was definitely coming to a close, and once Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 hit, it was just the nail in the coffin for the series. That game was so disgustingly buggy, it just wasn't a fun time. Well, Tony Hawk is coming back, folks. The Birdman is flying again. No, not Birdman from Cash Money, Birdman Tony Hawk. I think Tony Hawk was first with the Birdman nickname, but yes, there is a brand new Tony Hawk game coming out, and it's coming out very soon. It's coming out this month in December. So you would think I would be happy about this, a new Tony Hawk game, even though we haven't talked about it on the channel. How would I not notice a brand new Tony Hawk game? Well, we have to talk about what platform is it for? Is it for the Nintendo Switch? No. Is it for the PS4, the Xbox One? No. Is it for Steam? No. Okay, wait, it's for next generation consoles. It's gonna launch alongside the next generation consoles? No. No, it's not. Because what Tony Hawk's new game is, is a mobile game, a mobile game. So yes, folks, today on the channel, we're going to talk about a brand new mobile game from Tony Hawk, Tony Hawk Skate Jam. And let's just dive into this because it's going to be a disappointment. Hey, RGT85, hey, Sean. Oh my God, it's Stevie Richards. So yes, Tony Hawk is returning to video games on December 13th, a mere few weeks away, with Tony Hawk's Skate Jam. For your mobile device, whether you have an iOS or an Android device, you will be able to play this revolutionary skateboarding game that, wow, look at these graphics. Look, look at these graphics. They're, they're not the best. They're, they're not the best. Now, this is a mobile game, so I'm going to give it a little bit of slack. I obviously do not play mobile games. I don't really care about mobile games, but mobile games seem to have a decent fit when it comes to a skateboarding game because it's a touch screen. So you could kind of do some interesting things. You got to remember, Skate It actually came out on the Nintendo DS, and I really enjoyed that game because of the touch screen use of the game. You could control your tricks a lot easier, I felt. So maybe there is some sort of silver lining, but good lord, look at how ugly this game looks. Like, it definitely looks like a high-res PS1 game. And all because it's a mobile game doesn't mean that it's inherently bad. A lot of mobile games end up coming out on home consoles with different ports. And so it's not like this game is doomed to be bad, but just from looking at this game, it looks like they didn't put a lot of time and effort into this. Now I'm gonna be showcasing uh, some video of another Tony Hawk game called Tony Hawk Shred Session that actually was supposed to come out back in like 2014. It got a soft release, but it never got into the mainstream uh, market as far as the game was concerned and the game ended up being indefinitely canceled. I didn't want to just show these ugly screenshots off, but just looking at this game from 2014 versus the pictures from this uh, Tony Hawk's game Skate Jam that's coming out in a matter of few weeks, this other game from 2014 looks a hell of a lot better than this current Tony Hawk game. But I digress, let's talk about what this game is gonna to bring to the table. Tony Hawk's Skate Jam will feature classic career mode. So obviously that's a nod back to the original days of the Tony Hawk franchise. The career mode was the big thing. It was how you unlock new levels, levels of how you unlock new characters, new boards, new tricks, all things like that. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, there will be global skate jam tournaments as well. 
So I'm going to assume that this is the online portion of the game because a lot of these mobile games do have online. Since this is a global thing, more than likely it'll be sort of a leaderboard system where, you know, there's probably a high score that's set and you try to beat that high score in a certain amount of days on a certain level or maybe there's certain level conditions and then you get some unlockables in the game or maybe you even get some in-game recognition that you won a tournament. I don't really know how that will work, but it seems like it'll just be something to sort of deviate from the main career mode of the game at a little bit more to the game and just add a little bit more substance to it as well. You can do street, park, and vert skate disciplines and dozens of birdhouse skateboards to collect. So it looks like there's only going to be birdhouse skateboards in this game because obviously Tony Hawk owns birdhouse, but I would have liked to have seen more boards in there. You know, that was one of the cool things about the Tony Hawk games was seeing all the different board companies in there like Zero and Chocolate. I'm really dating myself by talking about Zero and Chocolate. I don't even know if they're still around, but those are the companies I messed with. You know, those are the companies I liked. So to see that it's only going to be birdhouse you know that sort of limits the creative ability of the boards in the game and possibly some of the characters in the game i assume there's not going to be any real skateboarders in this game aside from tony hawk since they're only using birdhouse there could be other birdhouse representatives on there but once again that sort of limits what you can do it was fun to learn about new skateboarders that maybe you didn't mess with back in the day you know bam margera was put into tony hawk because he was a big name that was on the rise and that really helped catapult him of course icons like uh, jamie thomas kareem campbell so i don't know that really bothers me but and that's all they really give you. You can head over to their website and you can register to access uh, for early access to the first Skate Jam tournaments. You can pre-order the game and that is it. There is a beautiful picture showcasing some birdhouse decks, some older style stuff, some newer style stuff, a lot of Tony Hawk related stuff. But this is just, oh God, this is such a disappointment. Because let's be honest, skateboarding games have pretty much died off on home consoles. But the last game we got was what, Skate 3? There of course was that game that was showcased at E3 for Microsoft. I don't recall the name of it, True Sessions or maybe it was just called Sessions or something like that, that I thought looked pretty cool. It looked sort of like a new style of skate, but I've heard really bad things about it. But it's like, why would you not try to do a Tony Hawk game on a console instead of a mobile device? Like, here's the thing about mobile games. Mobile games are definitely a different market than console games. I think a lot of people understand that. But when you're talking about Tony Hawk, it's like, who's going to know who Tony Hawk is? Like, we know who Tony Hawk is. You know, people in their late 20s to early 40s, people that grew up skateboarding and people that got involved in the skateboarding culture that got, you know, trans world magazine and thrasher magazine big brother and slap people who were buying the vhs tapes and watching them at the skate shop and going to the skate shop all the time people that were playing the tony hawk games it's like does tony hawk still have that huge name value in 2018 that's going to get a more casual audience into this game that's going to get a mom to play this game that's going to get a little kid to play this game obviously this game is going to be riddled with microtransactions because it is a mobile game it is a free-to-play mobile game so you're going to have to do what buy levels buy buy clothes, buy characters that are in-game, buy boards and things like that. I don't know, man. This just stinks like a cheap cash grab. And the fact that there's literally no sort of footage of this game, that it literally just popped up out of nowhere and in two weeks is releasing, really just makes me feel like this is not going to be a good game. Obviously, it's a mobile game, so you have to keep your expectations in line. But what sort of music is going to be in the game? Is there official tracks from bands or is it just going to be random music? Like you say, you're setting the bar for skateboarding games, but there's a lot of skateboarding games on the mobile market right now and this doesn't look like anything special it looks like a ps1 tony hawk like experience but without all the fun in it without all the board companies without all the shoe companies without all the characters that made the tony hawk games so interesting and so special so i don't know i just don't have very high expectations for this game and it's a shame because the tony hawk series is what a lot of us grew up on it's what a lot of us played it's what a lot of us still play from time to time because they're just fun games to play and while this may be a decent experience i would much rather see this on a home console or steam or something like that because skateboarding games need to be brought back it was a fun time it was a fun industry shift for both the skateboarding world the counterculture world and the video game world so is tony hawk just selling his soul for this to make some quick cash i mean more than likely the game's coming out in two weeks and we're just now finding out about it so keep your expectations in line with this game you know don't hold your breath for this to be the tony hawk game you've been waiting for because more than likely it's going to be a colossal disappointment but maybe i'm just overreacting maybe the mobile market is the perfect place for Tony Hawk. Maybe Tony Hawk is still a big brand name in 2018 and I just don't realize it. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments section down below. And as always, make sure you let me know what you think of Tony Hawk's Skate Jam. What you think of these three beautiful pictures that I have shown you because this is the only information that exists for this game. This is the only concrete screenshots uh, that we have of this game and that really, really makes me worried. And as always, thank you for checking out this video. Are there skateboarding games on mobile that I need to check out? Let me know in the comments section 
description down below. And as always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Welcome to all the new subscribers. The channel has been blowing up over the past week with just a ton of new subscribers. So thank you guys so much. I hope you stick around. I hope you enjoy the content. And as always, I will catch you guys on the next video. Later.